You're watching KOS. Keep on shooting. Hello guys and welcome back to my channel, KOS Keep On Shooting. So today I thought I showed you guys my first ever modern slingshot. The Pocket Predator Scorpion. Isn't she a beauty? Prior to this slingshot, I only owned commercially bought slingshots at the sale on sporting goods stores or retail stores like at Walmart or Academy. I had uh, those typical wired frames with a wrist brace on them, known as wrist, wrist rockets. And then uh, one day, sitting at the couch, I was browsing through YouTube and I found Bill Hayes' um, YouTube channel. And I was just amazed by what he could do. He was lighting matches, splitting cards in half, hunting rabbits, taking long shots, and all with the slingshot. So I was like, I gotta try that. So sure enough, I bought one of this website, and from there on, the collection grew and I was hooked. I think this is one of the reasons I prefer to shoot TTF, because this is the way I learned. Um, I can shoot OTT just fine, but TTF, I truly love it. You know, holding that, that slingshot to the side and seeing the whole band like this. That is just perfect for me. So this was my first slingshot that I bought, maybe I would say three years ago. And as you can see, it's taking quite a beating. There's scratches on it. There's a lot of fork hits. As a beginner, you don't want to you don't want to start off with an expensive frame because you are gonna get some fork hits. So I don't know if you can see. Let me see if I can focus. There we go. So this edge right here has a lot of fork hits, but no breaks, so very durable slingshot. Now with this slingshot, I've taken a lot of game. I've taken hares, rabbits, and a whole bunch of dove with it. So that's one of my all time favorites. The only thing as my slingshot collection grew, I started um, experimenting with other type of uh, fork wits. And I found that for my, my anchor point, my preferred anchor point, which is my cheekbone, I shoot 85 to 90 mil a lot more accurately. This one, let's see, I'll be right back. Let me grab the category real quick. So for this one, the fork width, let's see, we have our caliper here. Let's zero it in. If I remember correctly, this is at 100 mil. So let's verify. Yeah, 101.6. And one thing that I really like that I use for hunting is this wide fork tips. For the fork tips, you're looking at about 38.2. So you can put a, you know, any any kind of taper that you like, you can put any type of banter that you like. I used to shoot a 25 in this. Whenever the fork width go, gets narrow or wider, um, you, I change my anchor point. Um, so with an 85 mil, I usually anchor at my cheekbone. With this type of width, I tend to um, anchor at my at the corner of my mouth. Another thing that I like to do, if I do want to keep my anchor point the same, instead of aiming, let's see, instead of aiming like this, as I would usually do with an, with an 85 mil, I just tend to aim a little bit up, right about here, and I can hit my target with no problem. So let's take a few shots, we'll be taking 10 shots 
of that two inch uh, spinner and let's see how we do. All right guys, let's get our 10 shots in. There's gonna be no more cuts in the video. Let's see how we do. I'll probably be doing a lot of missing, just a heads up. I haven't shot this thing shot in a while, but let's give it a go. All right, shot number one. Hit. Shot number two. Hit. Shot number three. That one was a miss, just a little to the left. Shot number four. Hit. Shot number five. Hit, shot number six. Sorry, the pouch is a little bit stiff, so I have to mold it a little to my finger. There we go. Shot number six. Hit. Shot number seven. Hit. Shot number eight. And I'm keeping my same cheekbone anchor point. I'm just aiming a little higher. And I'm still hitting it on target. All right, shot number eight. Not too sure on that one, but I think I got it on the wire. Shot number nine. The right hit, and our last shot, shot number 10. Boom, there we go. I still love this thing shot. One of my all time favorites. Just look, the, look at the way it holds, uh, pinch grip, look at that webbing, it just fits the hand entirely and very comfy to hold. And this pinky hole right here just makes it lock into your hand. So very well designed slingshot by Bill Hayes. Alright guys, let's go take a look at that target. We were plinking some cans last night. That's what we have, all that mess down there. All right, and here we have our target.
It's amazing how this microfiber target can hold up. I really like them. I got this one from Sniper Sync. Oh, and would you look at that? This is why it wasn't spinning. I have an old towel back here and some of the threads got tangled on the spinner. So that's why it wasn't spinning as it usually does. But we still got it. It's pretty fun. All right guys, so that was 10 shots with the Pocket Furniture Scorpion. Array design by Bill Hayes. Really love this slingshot. I know I say that about every every single slingshot that I shoot, but I just love them all. And this one, it's very ergonomic. Probably the second most ergonomic slingshot that I own. I would say my top one would be the Sniper Sling S Robin. That one just molds to my hand. This one does too, just a little bit larger than what I prefer. And here are the four kits that I was telling you about you guys earlier. This was my first sink shot, and when I started, I had no idea what I was doing. I didn't know about anchor points or any of that. I learned as I go. All right guys, so that concludes today's video. Before I go, I just want to say thank you to each and every one of you who have watched my videos and supported the channel. I really do appreciate it. Thank you for watching guys. Take care and as always, keep on shooting.